Okay, so let's look at the reference system. So I built this reference system because I always thought, maybe Sharon, you can tell me what if you agree. I always thought Max's reference was kind of all over the place. It was so hard to find like the master reference library, the manual. There's no manual. Oh, it's yeah. kind of all over the place. I never turned to it. I always went elsewhere. Yeah, like, it's easier to it. just Google it. I just always Googled it. So that's frustrating. So I put together what I consider to be kind of like a collection of reference materials about Max in this nice little patch here. So Max has an internal reference system, which is like this book here on this book icon on the side. But like when you click on it, it's, what do you do? How do you, what, there's nothing here. What do you, how do you even get to anything? I don't know, it's so confusing. So I love Max, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I think that their reference system has always been a little weird. So if you click on this Max reference, it's gonna open up the documentation, the internal documentation in Max. So over at the sidebar, you've got all kinds of stuff, uh, which are like tutorials, locking and unlocking the patch, which we, we will talk about. Uh, and then you can click on open the tutorial and actually it opens a max patch tutorial. I still, frankly, am a little bit lost. I, you know, this is, mm -hmm. I think their reference system is really yeah. wonky. Well, and can, I'm gonna interject real quick. I think that when using the max reference, like the, the in, in um, the help, Oh, help patches are great. Are that's yeah. that's where the money's at in yeah. terms of their stuff. Yeah, those are great. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so in that's the, so like if you want to get to the basic Max reference system, there's this red box. You click on that, it opens up the Max references. Um, so web browser and everything in the green here will open up web browsers. So uh, here is the the documentation for Max MSP and Jitter as you would appear on the Max um, Seven web page um, likewise oh I made a spreadsheet so this middle yeah. button here takes you to the spreadsheet that I made out of frustration because I could never find anywhere in max a complete list of every max object in existence right so I actually made one and um, the name of so there's columns in here it's a spreadsheet so the first column is is it max MSP or jitter we'll talk more about this max is uh, uh, just regular max objects MSP objects deal with sound and they have this tilde after them and Jitter objects start with JIT and uh, they deal with uh, sorry they deal video. with video or mm -hmm. images in some way um, So is it max MSP or Jitter the actual B column B? Here's the name of the object um, I just put this other column C in here for the objects that I thought were the most important so I labeled the ones uh, with a one and made them yellow for objects that I thought were kind of critical or really nice to know, really useful that I use all the time. Um, column D is a link to the actual documentation web page on Cycling 74's website. So there's this object called, let's see, uh, MSP object called PCAMP. And if you click on this, it should open up a uh, the web page to the online documentation for PCAMP which I believe is exactly the same documentation you'll get in the internal documentation in Max. Um, they just sort of like use that web page as the uh, documentation. Um, there's a nice browser, there's a, sorry, there's a nice video here about patching mechanics on their site that I wanted to link to because it shows uh, some stuff I didn't even know about, but just like, you know, how to move around the Max interface and how to patch things together really quickly and easily. So that's a good reference. Um, and then we have Max, MSP, and Jitter in these yellow boxes. Um, now I made some objects. Wait, what happens here if I press on this? Oh, this takes you to a functional listing of all Max objects. And then there's a similar thing for MSP and Jitter, a functional listings of uh, just lists of all these objects. Now what I did was I went through and I took those functional lists and I turned them into Max patches themselves, which sounds insane. And it is, I spent like a whole day doing it. <laughs> um, so like all max objects here is actually a max patch and I colored the important ones green, but this is the same um, functional groupings as in like, these are all the math objects. But here, all you do is type in, or you just click on these messages and it'll open up the help patch for that object. Like uh, M2F, um, you know, this is the help patch for M2F. Um, which turns a meeting note into a number or frequency. This is an insanely awesome resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is cool. Um, this is like what I wish they would just do. Maybe they'll Use maybe it. they'll hire me. <laughs> there uh, you go. Great. I've always dreamed of working for Cycling Seventy Four. 
Uh, well, actually, now it's Ableton, so they're yeah. Germans. Um, scary. <laughs> probably they'll probably get all serious now and like make Max like really work well. Um, just kidding, it works well. All right, so I have uh, all Max objects here. Uh, these are non MSP, non jitter objects. The MSP objects, same deal here. This is all the MSP objects, and I colored the green ones. Um, the ones that the green ones are just the ones I use all the time. Don't read too much into that. They're all cool. Um, just the green ones, I think, are extra special. You could get lost in this I in know. a fun way, yeah. in like the best kind of way. Same thing with jitter. This is all the jitter objects. And remember, these are functional listings. So, like math operators is like all the things related to math in jitter. So, um, you know, other people might not organize them in that way, but that's the way they were they were organized in the uh, on the cycling seventy four website. So, uh, okay. And then there, I have a nice little intro to MSP. A link here. It opens up the uh, Max Help Patch or the Tutorial One, which is like the intro to MSP. Same way with the MSP tutorials, it links to that, and you can see, um, oh, they have a lot of good tutorials on the cycling system. Their content is good. It's, yeah, it's just great. hard. It's, it's just hard to find it's it. It's hard to navigate. Um, um, okay, so we're at six minutes, so this is going to be a little bit of a long one. Um, over here, I have some interviews. A link. These are links to web pages. So this is Cycling 74's interviews page, which is really neat. So you get to see interviews with people who use Max on various kinds of projects and you just get a sense of like all the crazy people and projects that use Max. So, you know, more than anything, students ask me who uses Max, what do people use it for, what's it good for? So like this is the best way to figure that out is to go look yeah. at what other people have done. Um, projects, so that's interviews with, with like artists and designers and musicians. Projects are like about the projects themselves. So this is like less about the artist and more about what do they do. It describes the projects. And you can just see there's like all kinds of projects, like crazy amounts of stuff. And um, I love how varied it is. Um, okay, so um, this is just an Instructables overview I found that I thought like kind of phrased things nicely about what is Max. It's a visual programming language, yada, yada. We'll get more to that, but um, this is worth reading, and it has some example projects in here too that are really, really nice. Um, all right, and then last one here, Demystifying Max takes you to a, uh, a PDF that's kind of old, but kind of a good read. Oh, and there's Formula for Computer Art, which I always show in the first week of my classes, that is um, by Jim Campbell, who's an artist. And um, I just show this because it's like the map for like every piece of interactive art that I've ever seen, which is sort of, you have inputs on this side, the inputs are fed into some kind of computer or program that you write. In this case, it would be a max patch. And that would in involve like algorithms and memory and things like that. And then you map that to some output. Um, it could be like moving text or sound or image or video or lighting or anything. Um, so inputs, processing, outputs and you know that's you know you can use this as a as a guide to sort of take apart any sort of uh, interactive project um so i think that's a nice little overview okay this is um just the uh, landing page that i made for uh finding all the different ways all the different ways to find max reference material yeah so anything did i miss here no i mean obviously we're going to be adding content to that you can get to that with that youtube link uh, hopefully, yeah. Right now, it takes you some something else, but I'm not going to click on it. But yeah, eventually, um, if you click on this, it'll take you well to yeah, our, to, to to the things to this, this video. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Bye. <laughs>